Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 6, lesson 1. Divide multiples of 10, 100, and 1000. Page number is 329. Okay. Uh, guys, when we divide two numbers and we get an answer, the first number, always the big number, we call it dividend. The second number, the smallest one, we call it divisor. And the answer of division is known as quotient. Now, when we divide, there are two ways. The first way, by using multiplication. Like 15 divide 5, so you choose the divisor and think that 5 times what is equal to 15. So 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Here it is. So it's 3. Similarly here, you will think it using the multiplication. But you have 0 here, so you will remove a 0, okay, and keep it aside. And then find 5 times what equals 15, you know that, 3. And you will put this 0 back in the answer. Similarly here, you remove two zeros and put two zeros in your answer. The other way, using the basic factors, like the basic factors without the zeros. This one is the basic factor. You divide it directly. 15 divide 5, 3. 150 divide 5, you remove the zeros. 15 divide 5, 3 and put the zero back in the answer. 1500 divide 5, you remove two zeros this time and put it back in your answer. Guys, in multiplication, if you have zeros in the first number or the second number, you can remove them all and put it back in your answer. Count them total, like if you have a zero here also, so you remove it while multiplying the basic factors and put three zeros in your answer if you have zero here. But in division, when you have the zeros in the dividend, you can follow the same process. Just remove the zeros, divide, and put the zeros back in the answer. But if you have zeros in the dividend and the divisors also, then you can't follow this process. There is another process for it. Okay? That process is you have to cross the zeros. Let's say if you have one zero here, so it means you can cross both zeros and the zeros are cancelled now. Okay? So you cannot, you don't need it to put back in your answer. I hope you understand. Okay. But we will not have the zeros in the divisor in this lesson. So don't worry. Okay, next page. Again here. 24 divide 4 is 6 with 1 0, 60 with 2 zeros, 600. How to check your answer when you divide two numbers and get the answer? Okay, you want to check your answer. What you do, you multiply the quotient, which is 600, with the divisor. Multiply it with the divisor. If you get the dividend, it means your answer is correct. Okay. What basic fact will help you find the quotient of 4207? 4, so you multiply, you will think that 7 times what equals 42? 7 times 6 equals 42. That means you will put zeros, two zeros, so 600. Okay. 12 divide 4, 3 with one zero with two zeros. 36 divide 9, 4, 1 zero, 40, two zeros, 400. 400 divide 2, $200. 1600, 1600 divide 4, with two zeros. First you remove the zero, 16 divide 4 is 4, and you put two zeros back in your answer. Next page, it is independent practice, guys. You have to solve all these questions by yourself and then you can match your answers from this video.
Look at this question, guys. Here, you will not remove all the zeros. If you remove all the zeros, then you will get 2 here, okay, which is less than the divisor, which is impossible to divide. You will get into decimals. So what you do, you remove only one zero and keep it 20. So 20 divide 5, 4, and as you remove just one zero, so you put one zero back in your answer. Next page, okay, you will use this table to solve this question. Suppose a group of green sea turtles travel 7 miles a day. Green sea turtles, they travel 1400 miles. So 1400 miles divided by 7, 200 days. A herd of caribou migrate the distance shown in 8 months. So the distance shown is 2400. And if they migrate this much distances in 8 months, so 2400 divided by 8, 24 divided 8, 3, and 2 zeros, 300 miles. Using mental math, order the quotient. The first one, 1500 divided 3. 15 divided 3 is 5. 24 divided 8, 3. And 48 divided 12, 4. So this is the least one, will come first. Then this one, second. And then this one, last. Okay. Complete the equation, explain your reasoning. Okay, you can fill this one with other numbers also to get the answer okay but we choose this one and you have to explain your reasoning why you filled with this with with this uh, why we filled it with these numbers okay i want to see your work in the comment box why are basic facts needed when dividing large numbers basic facts are needed when dividing large numbers basic facts means guys the numbers without the zeros okay when dividing the large number because large numbers are broken down into smaller parts in order to divide them easily and quickly I really hope you understand the lesson if you really understand the lesson guys don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel learn math with mr. Sai and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.